So my name is Chad Scott. I'm from Boulder, Colorado in the States. Been on Coach Howe for about two years now, working as the project coordinator of Safe Coach Howe and then also as the dive master at New Heaven. And I first got involved with green conservation here on Coach Howe, working with a group called the Sea Pad Foundation. We was here before doing a lot of stuff, and now that they're gone, we try to take over a lot of their projects to save the town. So being on Kotao, uh, there's very fast development here. Everywhere you look, there's new resorts going up and new divers coming. We now have about 46 dive schools on a 21 square kilometer island and hundreds of divers in the water every day. So you hear a lot of people talking about the destruction of the island and the beach. And luckily here on Kotao, unlike most places, the people have taken it upon themselves to protect the area. So we've teamed up together, the local Thai people who've been here a long time, and a lot of the foreign dive schools through the Safe Coast Cow Group. And this year we decided that to give something back to the island, we would do a bio rock project to help add more reef area to Koh increase the abundance of type of biodiversity here on corals on the island, and also serve as a training area for new divers so that they can perfect their buoyancy skills before moving out on the natural reefs both protecting the natural reefs and also keeping the divers safer. In April of this year, we came together and wrote a proposal to start this project and had about 10 dive schools join together to begin the fundraising. Over time, that number increased to 17 dive schools and each dive school committed at least 25,000 baht towards this project and also committed to fundraising for the project. We also had some great groups come in such as the SSI um, and some local businesses like Virginelli's pitch money in to help us out as well. So now in the past three months, we've been able to raise almost 900,000 baht. Over the last few weeks, we've had almost 50 people a day coming down, helping to build the structures, um, everybody coming together. So it's not only going to benefit the reefs here on the island, but the BioRock project has really brought the community together, really started to bring the people who want to do good on this island into one place. So instead of everybody just talking amongst themselves about what needs to be done, people are actually After the construction of the artificial reef was complete on land, 
and we had had our party, it was time to move the structures out into the water. Using only the limited equipment available on our island, we had to make the, the structures into rafts using floats, which could then be untied at the site and lowered down slowly. This had to be done very carefully so that they would land in the place we desired and not injure any of the divers helping out. Of course the first one did not go as perfectly as planned, then we refined our technique and the next ones went down much more smoothly. After another week of work to run the wires out to the site and set up the power source, the bio rock was turned on. The low voltage electricity running through a bio rock structure causes minerals to cut fall out of the seawater and collect onto the metal structure. These are the same minerals that corals use to grow their skeletons. In this way, corals, clams, and sponges living on the structures will grow much faster than normal and can grow in a wider range of environmental conditions. Here, we can rehabilitate damaged corals and provide a nursery for healthy and diverse corals that can be moved onto natural sites when they are damaged. The area where we put the Hinfai bio rock was chosen mostly because it is sand and rubble on the bottom. But we hope that over time this area will transform into a fully functioning coral reef ecosystem.